click the Essentials Files folder. It will include three folders. One is called Cracks, number two is called Fix, and number three is called Patch. You need to open up the Cracks folder here. This is going to be specifically for GTA 4 to patch 7, aka 1070, which is the most stable version, in my opinion, for LCPDFR. I was going to say LSPD, but LCPDFR. So you're going to take these two files here, the 1911 DLL, which is the Razor, and then you're going to also install Launch GTA 4 EXE application. Drag and drop these two into your game folder. Please be sure to use a clean, fresh folder and a copy of GTA 4. Also be sure to have a save game of no present vehicles parked at any of your safe houses. That is known to cause an issue with GTA 4 with some random vehicle memory leak error. So try not to have a save loaded in the time you install this with vehicles parked at your safe houses. It does not need to be for every save, just the one that you are, are going to be loading into. So once that is done, you're going to go back into the main folder and click on fix, fix original, not found errors, slash play offline. So this is going to disable the games for windows live option which should have already been removed with the new Rockstar Games Launcher update. But in case it re-enables itself through the downgrade, you can install XLive DLL. If for some reason your patch has not been installed, which we'll get into soon, you can click on the README. This is going to offer a fix for your Windows registry. I'm not going to go through this, but if it does not work for you, consider reading in this README file included in the downloads folder. Hopefully, it would work for you. So next up, the fun part, let's go into patch 1070 and then click on update title exe application. So after this, two things should happen. Number one, the 1911 DLL Razor logo should pop up. It's also very loud, so once that Razer logo pops up, turn down your headphone volume. It's going to be super loud. I don't know why, but it is. And then we can go to Unlock Graphic Settings. So drag and drop this command line file into your game. Replace if one is already present. So this is going to unlock your memory settings and your resource usage. So you should be able to use them correctly. So I believe the Essentials Files, Patch 7, and XLiveless has been successfully installed. So now we are going to run GTA 4. We're going to run GTA 4. The Razor application is going to pop up only for one-time use. I don't think it will ever pop up again, so you don't need to worry about that. So let's load up GTA 4 and then exit back out of the game to install then LCPDFR. So go to the LCPD first response folder and drag and drop all these files into your game. Once we are in here, it's recommended that you delete dsound.dll. The reason why I delete it is because GTA 4 sees that and XLiveless as two or more ASI loaders. And if we have two or more ASI loaders, that is known to cause issues. 